Welcome back. I'm Atlantis Wolf, and today I'm going to be talking to you about a collaborative book project that I'm in called Sacred Death. It's collaborative because several authors get together and everyone writes a different chapter under a theme. And the theme for this book is Sacred Death. It's about tools for caregivers. It's to help people when they move through the cycles of death. It can be a shamanic death where you're getting rid of an old belief or an old story, or it can be a physical death when there's someone who's close to you that's passing away. It can be um, the end of anything that you're ready to let go of and maybe not ready to let go of, but it's coming anyway. My chapter is called Pierce the Veil. It's about speaking to spirits on the other side of the veil and helping people to move from a place where they're speaking body to body, in person, using language, versus spirit to spirit, when you're moving to a place where you're going to use your imagination and imagine that person is meeting you. You're setting the scene and they're going to come and meet you as a spirit and you will communicate with them in a way that's friendly and easy for you. I'm going to walk you through. It'll be a guided meditation. I'll have my drum. I'll start you out. I'll get you into the meditation. I'll leave you in it with some drumming and then I'll call you back. When you're done, give yourself a chance to rest. Have some water, journal everything that needs to come back. Let everything else go. You don't need to remember every single detail. If you need it, it will come back to you. And then remember to give yourself time to just sit with the experience. I'll see you on the other side. Get comfortable and give yourself time to take three breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. Use your exhale to let go of everything that doesn't serve you, everything you need to release, everything you don't need to have with you in this moment of quiet communication. In through your nose what you need, out through your mouth everything you don't need, emptying every cell in your body in a gentle and easy way, relaxing each muscle and letting yourself be supported by the air and the waters and the ground and the earth itself. Imagine yourself in the middle of a circle with the four cardinal directions, the north, south, east, and west, placing yourself on your own personal medicine wheel. Greet each direction. We're going to call in the spirits of each direction with a whistle. Call out to the direction of the east, the time and place of your birth, and imagine all the events that had to come together in order for you to be born to experience this lifetime. Now call to the south, where you are today in your life, regardless of your age or the stage that you're in. It's the place you're now. Everything that's happened before you, everything that will happen, place yourself in the middle, in the now of your life. Call it to the direction of the west, your death, the end of your life, 
the end of a cycle of your life. The time when you will only be able to look back, give wisdom, and prepare to return to spirit. Call to the direction of the north, the spirits, the ancestors, the healers and helpers who are always around you, guiding your journey, whispering in your ear, preparing you for the next step, helping you reach the crossroads, achieve your greatest dreams, and expand to your greatest capacity. Now call out to your higher power, your God, Goddess, Divine Spark, the part that's alive inside and connected to all, and place a golden sphere of light around your entire medicine circle. You are safe and protected, connected to all beings that hold a space for you. Give them that space so that you can journey safely, quietly, protected by the golden ray of divine light. You're going to meet a loved one now. It could be a person, it could be a pet, it could be an ancestor you never met in life. And using your greatest power, your imagination, imagine a space to meet them. Your favorite place. It could be the ocean, it could be a house, it could be a cafe, it could be on another planet. Go to your favorite place and prepare to meet them. Fill in all the sensory details. What does this place look like? What does it feel like? What does it sound like? Does the air have a taste? What time of the day is it? Fill in the details. Prepare an offering. Maybe it's a cup of tea. Maybe it's a picnic. Something that is your favorite that you want to share and give to them. Invite them to your place. Bring them in. Let them come to you. Greet them, hug them, talk to them. Spend time remembering how wonderful it was to be close to their presence. Talk to them and let them answer all your questions.
give yourself time to come back to this time, this place, your name, yourself. Come back to the physical world. Remembering you can always go back and sit with them again. Confidence comes from practice. Clarity comes from openness. Practice communicating with them spirit to spirit. Knowing they are with you every time you reach out. Thank you for listening. I'm Atlantis Wolf, and I believe in you.